Hello everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I would like to create a custom group of people in my SharePoint site. This is done for permissioning purposes, because when you allow for a, a specific group of people to be able to do specific things within your site, you have more control over what's happening and what's not happening in your SharePoint environment. For those of you who are interested, in yesterday's video, I showed you how to create a custom permission level. So if your permission levels that you already have are inadequate for what you're looking for, make sure to click the link here or down in the description to go ahead and watch the video on how to create a new custom permission level. But here, we're going to look first, and as you can see here, I'm in an Office 365 SharePoint environment. So I'm going to click on the gear in the top right hand corner and click on to my site permissions. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want you to see the three groups of people that are there by default. Site owners, members, and visitors. Site owners are the people who have complete control over the site. They're changing permissions, creating new elements, those sorts of things. Site members are the people who contribute to the site, who are able to communicate with one another, add, edit, and delete content, whatever it is they want to be able to do. And then visitors are people who have read-only access. They are able to see the content, but they're not able to make changes to the content. But in yesterday's video, I proposed the idea that you might want to be able to allow a certain group of people, maybe like interns or something like that, to be able to upload content to your SharePoint site, but nothing else. And so yesterday I created a custom permission level for that, but I didn't yet assign it to anything. So let's click on Advanced Permission Level Settings here on the right. And as you can see, we have our three groups, each with an assigned permission level. So the point of this is to click on create group in the top left hand corner so that we can assign permissions to that group of people. Now I'll be very clear here, if you go to grant permissions, uh, that is for assigning permissions to the things that already exist. And so very often people use this to assign permissions to unique users. Please don't do that. Do not assign permission levels to a unique user because that is just a management hassle. Instead, we're going to create a group of people, maybe called Upload Only or something like that. I'll click on Create Group here and give it a name of something like um, Add Only. And the About Me will be uh, users who should be able to add content but not edit or delete it. Now a quick point about this group, this group must have an owner, somebody who is capable of coming in and making changes to the membership of the group or other settings. By default, as you can see here, it's assigned to my unique user ID, which is a terrible idea because it's very possible I'm coming in here as an IT professional and just setting this up and then walking away. Or, of course, it's very possible I might get fired tomorrow. So I don't want my unique user ID to be the group owner. Instead, I'm going to click the X there because I can only have one owner. But my owner could be a group of people. So I'm going to go ahead and look for OWN. And as I type in OWN, SharePoint says, oh, oh, you mean the group called Human Resources Owners. Those are the people you want to own this group? Yes, yes they are. And so anybody who's in the Human Resources Owners group now has the capacity to make changes to this group. Who can view the membership of the group? Eh, this is up to you whether it's something that needs to be held in secrecy or not. I don't think uh, in this particular instance the fact that these people are interns and can add content uh, should be <laughs> you know, hidden from them. Uh, and then who can edit the membership of the group? This is should be obvious. The owner should be the person who is making changes to the membership. Allowing requests to join or leave the group. If somebody tries to accomplish something and they can't, they can request that access. And then finally, you can see here the permission level I created yesterday called Upload Only, permission level for people to add documents and items, not edit or delete them. And I click Create. And now I have a group of which I am the only member who can add documents but they can't do anything else. 
So at this point, I click on the new drop down menu and choose add users to the group. And from here, I can add anybody in the uh, organization I want. So maybe Alejandro is an intern. And when I click on show options here, notice by default, it's going to send Alejandro an email. Uh, if you'd like that, feel free to do it. But sometimes you're doing this in bulk and you don't want to send somebody 14 emails. Hey, I added you to this group, this group, this group, this group, and this group. Uh, but let's say in this instance, Alejandro is you know new to the organization as an intern and he needs to see that email invite. So I'll leave that checked right there and click share. And just like that, Alejandro is now a member of the ad-only group on the SharePoint site.